So this is where I do clean work. This one illustrates some of the work that I do. This is baling twine around the orange lines that you see. This is more like a banner using different kind of plastic vegetable bags. It has the ties from the onion bags used to make these dark lines. Growing up on the farm makes you a generalist. It makes you solve problems. Uh, nothing was wasted. Everything that could be used was recycled. Well, the thing that interests me about her art is that I never know what she's going to do. She can make a major jump from one media to another. I, she can work in textile one day and wood the next. She considers it all fiber art, but uh, it, it changes radically every, every day. I collected other people's slinkies and made several of these. Uh, this is from the Wiseman's fifth anniversary party. What I'm excited about is experimentation and seeing what you can do with various materials. And uh, that's what I get absorbed in, and that's what gives me a lot of satisfaction when I bring something to completion that satisfies me. Like many fiber artists, I began as a small child sitting on the floor. Uh, my grandmother lived with us. She had a treadle sewing machine, and uh, my mother had the electric sewing machine, and I would pick up their scraps and make doll clothes. I also made paper dolls. We, we show together as often as possible, yes. And it works good because I've got something to put on the walls, he's got something to put on the pedestals. With Nancy's wall pieces, why, that's a perfect complement for, for my table work. I think I'm inspired a lot by the garden and the way that things grow. Uh, organic development, how one thing leads to another. The things that you look at every day influence you. And I suppose Warren's pots do that too. Uh, I think they're organic also. <laughs> I look around me and see what, what's around me, which is baling twine and onion bags, you know. That's the fun to me is finding something and repurposing it. Minnesota Original is made possible by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.